Hi, I'm Ariana with Fresh Pair of Eyes. Nice to meet you both. You too. Hi. You too. Hi. So, Bailey, it seems to me like Imogen and Tabby kind of have a closer bond than the other girls. Uh, do you think what it makes just, you say that? <laughs> they're just their little late night gossip section sessions. I, I feel like it's a bit separate than the other girls, and not in a malicious way. I think they just mm. have a different bond. Is it? because they live together is it because of the assault last season or do you think they always kind of had like a special relationship well I think if you look back like their first introduction to each other I mean Tabby wasn't necessarily the warmest to her the first time that we ever see these two interacting in Tabby's home I think it's very much like why did you invite her to stay here mom I don't understand like um and then very quickly I think Tabby is such a protector of people um and recognizes that Imogen needs protection and so they they very quickly have each other's backs and I I think sub I think they're not aware of the um of the trauma that they both faced and then when that information does come out I think it makes a lot of sense that these two girls have found each other and and bonded so easily and quickly um so yeah I think there's so many things that come to play with with the traumas that they both experience because they have each other to lean on and and someone that can truly understand um what it means to be stripped away of something like that um and I, you know, I think Chandler and I in general have have such an infectious bond. And I feel like this season, especially, like we'd we'd get scripts and they they would write certain words and lines for Tabby and Imogen that Chandler and I have literally said to each other. So we would joke, like, have they mic'd us when we uh -huh. go home? Like, can they hear what we say? Uh -huh. Um, but no, I love I love Tabajin. Tabajin is great. Tabajin. Aww. Tabajin. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So it seems also that Imogen warms up to Dr. Sullivan and has a bit of a maternal bond with her. Honestly, why do you think they warm up to each other so much? Oh, goodness. I mean, <clears throat> well, you go ahead. You... I was going to have you go. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I think... I think it's just a, first of all, it's a natural, like I adore Bailey I as a Anna person. Beth. We have, a, we have a fun banter chemistry ourselves, but maybe everybody does anyway. And all of the girls are just incredible. Mm -hmm. But, but there is something that I think Dr. Sullivan walks in at a time in her life when Imogen is really traumatized by a lot of loss, a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. And it's easy at that point to project onto a care figure especially um, one as warm and kind as Dr. Sullivan. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Someone as, um, as wonderfully beautiful. Yes, iconic. Iconic. You know, just the best queen. therapist ever. <laughs> uh, no, I just think that, you know, it's it's a natural and a mutual uh, mm -hmm. togetherness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Annabeth, what was it like to be asked back to this universe because there's been other shows in between that you were in but now you're in Millwood what was it like to be asked back into this world that's actually super different at the same time mm. super different but still the same and I, you know it was I just jumped at the chance I was so excited uh not only does it give me street cred and relevance with my teenage sons and their friends um, I know I really just, uh, I, I just think what they're doing with this show is timely and modern and fresh and energetic. And I, I jumped at the chance to join the show and had a blast. Yeah. You can definitely tell that no matter what is going on during the show, Bailey, for you, we see that Imogen is trying to have a normal life after the most abnormal things having mm -hmm. a baby in the in, in, within the circumstances that they were all that has happened and trying to have a relationship with her dad in a sense and she mm -hmm. has her sweet little Cindy Brady clothes on but she has like a vicious nature as well too what mm -hmm. is it like to kind of balance all of that out as an actor of such a multi-layered person mm -hmm. That's such a thoughtful, kind question to ask because I feel like you never know uh, as an actor if if all the thoughts that you're thinking um, come through. You know, you're, I'm, mm -hmm. I, I feel like it's so hard to tell. So thank you for saying those mm -hmm. things because I I do feel like if anything, I I was trying to always be so aware of the amount of layers that Imogen did have, and mm -hmm. um and even in her happiest moments, understanding that she has scars underneath and is constantly working through a form of 
anxiety or trauma or PTSD. Um, but I think it's just kind of letting go in the best way that you can. I think it's um, not being afraid to be uncomfortable. I think Imogen is constantly uncomfortable and, um, mm-hmm. and just trying to dig into, into that in, in the best way possible and, and trying to do justice to the trauma and then do justice to the feeling of, of wanting to be happy and, um, and normal as well. Yeah. Uh, Bailey and Annabeth, you yourself, do you think you have what it takes to be final girls in a horror movie or a TV series? And why so? I mean, yeah, yeah, totally. Listen, we kick some ass. And for me, look, I'm a final girl in Hollywood because I'm still around. I'm still here. Yes. So, babe. you know, I think I think it it's it's really just about resilience and a fighter spirit, you know? Right? Oh, I love that. Yeah. You're here to stay. Yeah, here to stay. here to stay. Yeah, love, 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 <laughs> love that. What about you, Billy? What attributes do you think you have? Like you survived Law and Order episodes as a child. Like you, you got some. Fun I did. Here. I I survived Joan Cusack playing a crazy mother. So you know, I got I got through that. Um, you know, I I will say I I've been able to to uh, learn and work with some of some of the best horror geniuses out there, and so um, I've I've been able to to soak up some tricks and put them underneath my belt, and I think I hope I never have to mm-hmm. to use them, but I've got some good stunt moves locked in up here just yeah. in case. I will say, you know, coming in here to this show, and Bailey does it so well, but everything to your point, there's. So there's crazy heightened circumstances that are horror elevated genre, but there's so much reality mm-hmm. and, and really grounded in truth. I felt like never did I feel like, oh, we're in a genre show. You know, yeah. it, it still feels really rooted and and um, honest. Mm-hmm. You know, all of the girls really bring that honesty to the show. Yes, for sure. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. I was so excited to. I can't oh. wait to talk to you about this and future projects. Thank I love your you. earrings. They're, they're oh, they, thank you. Thank you. Are, they're little hearts. That's really awesome. cute. That's good. Really awesome. cute. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you.